fun seekers, I'm cruising right over to DJ's Taste of the 50s. Come along and join me. This is what DJ's looks like as you pull into the parking lot. Step back in time at DJ's Taste of the 50s restaurant. This themed restaurant offers tried and true 1950s favorites such as burgers, fries, and shakes, as well as a traditional breakfast and lunch menu, including salads, sandwiches, and entrees. You'll be delighted by the 50s style furnishings, menu selections, and outstanding service, reminiscent of the good old days. As you walk in, you'll notice on the wall, the border, have the old classic cars, the black and white checkered curtains, They've got the place decorated up real nice. And if you want to eat outside on the patio, you come in to the counter to place your order and then you can get your table outside. This is what it looks like on the inside of DJ's. <laughs> it's got that real authentic 50s feel. <laughs> I really like the tables here, the chairs. Let's take a look at the menu here at DJ's Taste of the 50s. Food has arrived at the table. Carly, she got the bowl of chicken noodle soup. And this is homemade here. And you can definitely tell that this is a homemade soup. It does look good. And Cindy, you ordered the cheeseburger and I ordered did. the french fries. I did, David, and I've already snuck a few fries. The fries are delicious. This cheeseburger, the first thing I noticed was the bun. It is a bun that's made at a local bakery, so I know that's gonna be good. And the burger, they're supposed to grind the burger them, themselves. That's why I wanted to try that today. I ordered the hamburger steak. Came with gravy, onions, and some mushrooms. I got a side of french fries with gravy on top of those as well. Well, Carly, I've noticed you've been eating on that soup. What do you think about your chicken noodle soup? It's very, very good. I extremely like it, especially the noodles. I love those. And then the chicken in it, very good. And then, yeah, it's overall very good. And I know you love chicken noodle soup, especially with a lot of crackers. Yes. I just wanted to show you this burger. You can see that this is definitely fresh meat here, fresh ground beef. And then this bread is so soft. Can't wait to try it. And I also noticed those pickles. They put a whole lot of pickles on there for you, too. And I know how you love pickles. I do love pickles. Cindy, you just took a first bite of your burger. What do you think about it? David, it is outstanding. That bread is so soft. It is so delicious. And then the taste of the burger. I was going to get chicken when I came in here because you know I usually get chicken. Right. But the uh, waiter, the server, he suggested this burger. He says, they're so good. This is what everybody gets. It's what they're known for. And I'm telling you, he did not leave me wrong with this. This is delicious. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Yes. David, you're working on that uh, Clean Plate Award again? Oh, I'm definitely going to get the Clean Plate Award, but the hamburger steak, you know I love a hamburger steak, and this is very delicious. You had mentioned about the burger, how good it was. The burger on this hamburger steak is awesome. It's not dry. It's very moist. It's tender. You don't have to saw it with a fork or knife to cut it broke loose. But um, the french fries with the gravy on it, they are just oh, amazing. Goodness. These things, I'm telling you, you gave me a couple of yours to try. 
and they were wonderful, absolutely delicious. Now, you can order just a French fries. I think they call it loaded fries off the menu. Mm -hmm. As an appetizer. Um, right. So you could always just order that as an appetizer, but they were good. But the gravy, you know, got a good taste to it. I'm not sure if it's homemade here or, or what kind it is, but it, it's very good. Been impressed with everything I've had today. And I've also, I tried Carly's soup and I enjoyed that too. That was a, a nice chicken noodle soup. And you can tell that was homemade. Now, server Robert just brought us a ticket to the table. Sydney ordered the doo-wop burger. Carly had a bowl of the chicken noodle soup. I had the hamburger steak. And we ordered the strawberry milkshake. And you see the total is $38.69 if you pay with cash, $39.79 if you're paying with credit. Well, Cindy, what did you think about your visit to DJ's Taste of the 50s? Oh, I enjoy going back to the 50s here. That burger was juicy, and the bread, that homemade bread, was bread from a bakery, was so soft. Everything I had was amazing. Highly recommend coming to DJ's for a burger and fries. I would agree with you, Cindy. Everything I had, the hamburger steak was amazing, the french fries, and that gravy, found out the gravy was an in-house recipe. So that's why it tastes something like we never had before. It's something they actually make here. Amazing gravy. The strawberry shake was good. And um, I just love the way the place is decorated up on the inside. It gives you that real 50s vibe. And they got some cute photo ops outside of the building. I really enjoyed walking around, looking at those, taking up pictures. So if you're in the Lancaster area, we highly recommend stopping by DJ's Taste of the 50s and taking a step back in time to an era when they had sock hops and real rock and roll music. Hey, we need to mention Robert. Robert was our server and he was wonderful. Shout out to Robert for taking care of us. Just really enjoyed him. And also, they are under new ownership here. And so if you haven't been in a while, definitely come out and check out DJ's. And Robert told us that the actual cook that used to be here before bought the restaurant. It's been closed down for a while, but now it's back open. So this is our first time coming ever, and we've thoroughly enjoyed it. Our visit today, it was a great food, great staff, everybody friendly. So stop and give DJ's a try. Carly, what did you think about that soup you had today? I enjoyed it. It was really, really good, especially with the crackers in it. Delicious. Yeah, I tried your soup, and you could definitely tell that was a homemade soup, and it was very good. Anything else y'all want to say? No, I just love the decorations, love, you know, the vibe of the place. Thought it was a great place for a lunch. It was. Well, Carly, go ahead and close us out from DJ's, please. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. So you won't miss our latest quiz video. See you next time. Thank you for watching. God bless. Thank y'all. Thank you. Bye bye. You going to the sock hop tonight? I'm thinking about it. You want to be my date tonight? Only if we get to go to DJ's first. I noticed Carla has found an old telephone booth outside of DJ's. And she's on the phone with one of her friends. They having a very important conversation. Yes. They have some very nice photo ops outside of DJ's. Takes you back to an era when things were so much simpler.